We're back. And I'm here to finish what I started. Um, a few months ago, and by a few months, I mean a ton of months ago, seasons ago, I uploaded two videos of me trying to solo the Pit of Heresy. Because I soloed um, the Shattered Throne as well, much earlier. And I felt so proud of that that I wanted to do the Pit of Heresy solo. And so I wanted to record it. Uh, I ended up just not recording me doing it solo. But I think that's a little unfair. So, when I did do it solo, I did it on a hunter. Contrary to me doing on a warlock for um, the two encounters that you saw, I think the two encounters that you saw, I was on a warlock. Um, but I did it on a hunter. I did it on a hunter here. I also did the warlock on the shadow throne, but I'm going to be doing a hunter here. I've also been messing around with my recording stuff. Um, I don't know why it just won't let me record in 1080p. Um, it let me record near Automata in 1080p, and it was near flawless except for the fact that my audio was a little delayed, and I think I know how to fix that anyway. But I just won't do it for Destiny. And I don't know if it has something to do with the capture card or my computer, because I have nothing else running in the background on my computer. I got this on a higher priority and everything, but uh, as it goes, I'll try to fix that later. But for now, we're going to try to solo the Pit of Heresy and get it out to you guys. Because I'm also going to be going to try and solo Prophecy. And that's going to be a feat. Now, when I soloed the Pit of Heresy the first time with my Hunter, When I soloed, oh, the other guy. <laughs> when I soloed the Pit of Heresy, when I soloed the Pit of Heresy the first time, I got, um, I got the achievement for it, I think. The achievement. I got the triumph for it. Oh, at least... No, I, I didn't get the tracker for it. I got the tracker for it. I got the tracker for soloing it. I'm pretty sure. I know I get the flawless one. But it didn't count as a solo. It didn't count. Even though I did it solo. I did the same thing that I did with um, Shattered Throne. Where... I went in, and I got all the way to the end, and then I stopped, and then did it the next day. And that didn't count as solo. Flawless solo, but that didn't count as solo for the actual triumph for it. So... Show you where's that. The pit of Harry Silla. So I never got it. I never got it. And even though, exactly right there, and even though now I have a flawless track on my Pit of Heresy tracker, I don't have the triumph for it. Ugh. I want to try to get that. Because that's amazing. I love that there's an emblem tied to it. I really do. But. What I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna solo this. I'm gonna solo this dungeon. And then I'm gonna prepare to solo um, Prophecy. As you can probably tell by the armor I had on, I've already done Prophecy a ton. I know it's ups and downs. I know what it demands. And I know when it comes to what it demands, it is a very demanding dungeon. I think it is the hardest out of all of them. I truly believe that. I think it is nuts. Nuts. I think it is nuts. Um, and I thought that maybe that was just because of a light level to it, but no, it's, it is nuts. Like, you were just getting spawn upon spawn upon spawn of enemy. At least with stuff like in, even in Pit of Heresy or in, um, Shadow Throne, you had 
some reprieve where there's no enemies responding. Whether it be during the damage phase or whether it be during um, during the actual phase itself, like in between whenever you need to rest. I think the only thing that could compare to that is the ogre encounter, which was um, Vorgeth. Because when you get to Vorgeth, there was no cover whatsoever, so there was enemies everywhere, and you just had to start taking them out. And that's what I think I can compare Prophecy to. Because all that Prophecy is, that I can see, is just management, management, management. You have to manage the knights, you have to manage those silence, you have to manage it. But, I will leave all that for the end of that video, which will be coming. I don't know when, could be soon, could be later, depending on how much I have to like grind towards it. I might like make a whole video that has a compilation of me trying and failing. But... As you know, I think whenever I did Shattered Throne, I think I said it somewhere in there at the end. That's also when I had the terrible mic. She can hardly hear my voice anyway, but I think somewhere in there I said that it took me four hours to do that solo. With Pit of Heresy, it took me two and a half, I think. And that's just because I played Pit so much more. So much more. I also think Pit is just an easier one, anyways. Um, but just like the Shadow of Throne video, I'll have my thoughts at the end of the um, Prophecy Dungeon video, and I'll have my thoughts at this dungeon at the end of this video. Because even though this, I think this is the easiest dungeon currently, I think it is. It's it's important. I think it's, it's important. <laughs> it's important because these. These dungeons are fun. These are fun. They're like the mini raids and the fact that um, they're not built around soloing it, but the, the fact that they are built so that it is at least possible to solo is amazing to me. Because you see so many people with um, soloing like raid encounters and soloing this boss, soloing that boss, or teammating this boss and, this, and that boss. I did not get any raid banners, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a doozy. I'm just gonna do it without raid banners, guys. That's a new challenge. But no, oh. I um. God, I really want raid banners. Ugh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll go. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go get some stupid raid banners. I'm hot Oh well, I, I can complete my thoughts then. I. I just think that's important because you do see those people trying to solo, trying to two man encounters. But you don't see any like triumphs or anything for it, which I guess it shouldn't be. Raids are meant to have six people. You know, going after it. you don't get a triumph for doing it with three people. I think it's rewarding something that it's not. But it's just something that the game needed and it never knew it needed. You know? Because when Shattered Throne dropped, no one knew. No one knew. It wasn't on the roadmap. Um, everyone thought it was just going to be another mission. So when that third week hit and people started talking about a new mission called the Shattered Throne. Everyone said, play this mission, play this mission. And we figure out it's called a dungeon. And then, you know, the, the dungeon thing is under the mission activity. Everyone was wondering, please, everyone, everyone wanted that, that for that to be a, like, a regular thing. Because, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Even now, with so many raids out and with so many people playing Destiny, even if it's not what it used to be, or maybe it is more than it used to be, even with this many people playing Destiny, it can still be hard to get a team together, despite the LFGs, despite how many people want you to have this and this and this before you do it, it can still be so hard. That's why I love, love going into raids and teaching people. I love teaching raids. Because there's just such a surprising amount of people that just haven't done the raid. I can get, I can post in the um, Xbox looking for group thing. I can post about 
wanting to do um, a garden of salvation for us and tell people that they need to know what to do if we want to do it. And if I post, I want to do a garden of salvation for us and I'm willing to teach people who are new to it, I promise you I'm getting more people who want to do it who are new to it. There's so many different people. There's just such a small percentage of people doing raids. Right. So the fact that you don't have, that you can only have to gather half Plan of your team Everybody happy? to uh, do this activity, I think that's, I think that's so, so wonderful. Oh, oh. nice choice. <laughs> you okay, Anton? I think that's so, so wonderful. Oh, oh, nice choice. Okay, and so when it comes down to it, you don't even need a, um, you don't even really need a mic anymore sometimes. Because I remember I did, I did Prophecy this week actually. I did Prophecy this week with my friend Rose. He's been in some other videos. He's been in, in he's mostly in the raid videos. Um, he's a really good friend, but I did it with him and I did it with someone else that we found on LFG who um, knew what to do and they just wanted, they just didn't have a mic and we still did it great. There were, there were a few bumps when it came to like getting moats and stuff and that's another talk for another day, but <laughs> yeah, the moat mechanic is another talk for another day for sure, but at the end of the day we got it done in about 30 to 40 minutes so we were fine um i know he wants to go for the solo as well he's never soloed a dungeon floor before he's never soloed a dungeon before and he wants to solo it i can't wait to see him do it because i'm probably gonna i told him that he should stream it so i can watch it and i can probably i'll probably watch it and try to record the stream as well and just post it you know <laughs> but with his permission of course Back to what I was saying. I know it's just... It's just a good middle, you know? Between what a strike is and what a raid is. Or even while well, the ordeal strikes and what a raid is. It's, it's a good middle. And obviously I think the, the Grandmaster Nightfall definitely rises above dungeons maybe not in scale or in mechanics wise but just like um communication wise you definitely need communication for grand master nightfalls maybe even master nightfalls if you if you really think about it but now we can get started now we can do this I'm gonna try to do this flawless. If I can do this solo flawless, I'll be very, very happy. But I don't think I will. I think the plan right now, when it comes to these dungeon videos, the plan right now is to um, get this Pit of Heresy solo out quick. Because I want to. And it, I'll just go over what my plan is for the Destiny videos, really. I want to get this, this um, Pit of Heresy solo um, clear out quick. Because this is past content and I should be, I should have already like posted a video about this. I've just been delaying it, delaying it, delaying it. Will it be me starting new, um, will it be me starting new, uh, video playthroughs and just not finishing them or just finding a different game and wanting to play it so bad or whether it's just literally just grinding on Destiny in my free time. I just want to be able to do that and... I just never found the time to uh, record this. But now I can. And I want to get this out so I can start practicing on the prophecy. I didn't want to start practicing on the prophecy until I started doing this a little bit more so I can get it down and solo it. That being said, once I get done with this, I'm going to try to solo the prophecy dungeon. And when I get done soloing the Prophecy Dungeon, I'm going to try and solo the Prophecy Dungeon Flawless. I may or may not do a video on that. Ooh, I jumped way too far. I may or may not do a video on me doing it solo flawless. 
because I promise you I'm not getting like I'm I'm sure like maybe there's there's a there's a chance that I can get solo flaws here in this dungeon in this run there's a chance but I don't think there's a chance for me to get solo flawless on my first run that I'll be recording so I'm not even going to entertain the fact that that's going to happen or try to give you a promise I'm not going to keep so I'm pretty bad at that I think okay so that's the plan um obviously moment of triumph is here and so is the five leaving raids um I have most if well a percentage hold on we have spider pizza and C on our table a percentage of um a percentage of the lawless frontier the clan has done most if not all of those raids and so And so, I just want to put that out there. Obviously, I will be teaching some, and I, we have a ton of new members coming in now, just because we've been like on top of inviting people and getting like new people, mostly new people to Destiny, and I love that. Again, like I'm not gonna ever stop saying that. I love introdu introducing people to Destiny or to Raid. Because I think it's the best content out there. Sometimes, I, I would even like almost go as far as say some of the best gaming content out there. Which might be, oh god, if I don't go invisible! Ugh! I need a reprieve, I need a reprieve, I need a reprieve. Okay. <laughs> That's not great. Dang, you're still alive over there? Did your friends go? They did. So, regardless, what the point I was getting to was, so regardless of whether or not I've done the raid, or how many times I've done the raid, or how many times my other claimants have done the raid, you're probably always going to be seeing a raid video where I'm teaching someone, just because I think it's, it's legitimately fun. I don't know why I picked that short up so early. And if I don't know, now you know. I also put a shot, probably should have um, already started to change the Night Stalker. Because I'm going to use Night Stalker for the next encounter. And I know I keep getting off topic, but that's just. Alright, either I keep getting off topic. I either keep getting off topic or I never finish what I'm saying. Ugh, the wizards. Hold on, man. Okay. So where was I? Yeah, right, the raids. I, I, I fully intend. I'm doing all five of the leaving raids and getting them on this channel before they go because I literally have no idea when they're coming back. My theory right now is that they're not coming back for a while, while. Like maybe the end of the three year cycle they revealed um, earlier this uh, earlier this month. Not this month, but last month. Earlier last month, maybe I think they might be coming back. Like in Lightfall, maybe. I think what's gonna happen is going to be Lightfall is going to do what Rise of Iron did and leave the old generations behind. Hopefully I'll have a Series X by then, but if I don't, then you know what <laughs> I don't like that wizard type splash damage, by the way. I don't like it. Do not like it. It makes them very dangerous. I guess it's... I guess it's cool though. Can't make every enemy easy peasy. But I do want to get those raids out. I'm gonna try to get every single one of them, which means. And I want to do it in order. 
If I had it my way, I'd do um, Spiral Stars less, because I think that's the least favorite raid I... Yeah, that's my least favorite raid in the game, is Spiral Stars. And it's just because it's so... I don't know like how to explain it. It's not like it's it's not user friendly because I don't think that'd be like saying it right. I don't even remember what the other one was. It was Spider, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I don't know if it, I should say user friendly. It's like it's hard for me to teach it. I'm sure it's not that hard for others to teach it, but it it, it stumps me when it comes to teaching it. Because if you've watched my some of my Garden of Salvation, and if you've watched my um, Leviathan video, then you'll know that I can sometimes have a problem with figuring out what words I have to say. Okay. I have a problem with figuring out what words I have to say when it comes to like explaining an encounter. Cause I wanna, I wanna explain it in a way that doesn't feel like I'm like talking down to them. But I wanna be able to explain it in the easiest, most simple way. Like I know that some people can like, I don't only say that because I know that some people can get the encounter like just like that. Like the guy that we played with in um. In the Leviathan, in the Lawless Frontier versus Leviathan, the guy that we played with caught on quick. Every single encounter that you see in that video was done first try. We wiped a few times just because we were playing around and we like, <laughs> maybe not die in this part, Reed. And because we wanted to um, like wait for a friend that get disconnected, or if we wanted to go on an ammo run, that's the only time we wiped. Otherwise, every single encounter was a first try, and I. I'm really happy about that. He caught on so quick. I'm sure I could have said like maybe four or five sentences and he would have still gotten the encounter and didn't, done it flawlessly. But the only um, reason I go like so far into detail and I organize my speech when it comes to explaining an encounter is because I want to make sure everyone's included. I don't want to just like skip over something. That's why I don't let... Um, I don't want to call out Rose, but I don't let Rose explain the encounters. I don't let Rose explain the encounters because he intentionally leaves stuff out. He intentionally leaves stuff out because in the long run, no, it's not important. But people need to know that because it's not in the back of their head sometimes. But it'll mess up an encounter or it'll mess up a damage phase. Um, one example was like Scourge. Like he didn't tell people where to stand for damage and so we were all confuzzled. But That's not the point. The point is, I just want to explain it. Not as... Again, I, it feels so, like, mean to say as dumb as possible. Because I don't want to say it like that. I want to explain it as simple as possible. So people who need that amount of detail, or don't need that amount of detail, will get it all in one explanation. So I don't have to stop being... Um, I don't have to stop our next try to try to explain it to the one person. Because then it just singles them out. And everyone thinks they're dumb because everyone else got it. And I don't like that. That's so... It's, it's extremely rude. I hate people like that. I hate people who don't give people a chance. At least when it comes to raids. Because I think... I don't know. I think my favorite raid to teach... I'm going into like a whole school here, but my favorite raid to teach is always always going to be a last, last wish last wish is my favorite raid and it's my favorite raid of all time it used to be it used to be king's fall but last wish gave me all those king's fall vibes and everything i liked about king's fall and gave me it and it like delivered more and if you don't know now you know there you go sorry i've been listening to <laughs> i've been watching and listening to the hamilton soundtrack recently I don't know how that ties into this, but like, I just have it in my head right now. My favorite way to teach is Last Wish. Last Wish. It's, um, because it's got so many bosses, it's, it's pretty mechanic heavy. Um, and every single time I teach Last Wish, I always, always ask, I never, 
I never force anyone. Oh, I never like beg for it either, but I always ask once if we want to do ribbon legitimately, because I think it's the best raiding counter in the entire game, and nothing's gonna beat that. Nothing's gonna beat that for a while, I don't think. This ogre really stands in front of my shots, like he's doing right now. We are gonna have problems. Oh, look, you guys lined right up. But you only took half a blow. Piece of crap. Okay. Our door just shut because of the air conditioner, but it scared the crap. But anyway, like I was saying, Riven is the best encounter in the game to me. If you can already tell. What's this? Oh well. If you can't already tell. I'm so much better at this than my first solo um, necropolis like tryout because God was I just fumbling around like I knew the mechanics but like I just didn't know the spawns like I do now I don't know like an ogre is always gonna be on each side for this door stuff like that just messed me up. I knew the bits and pieces, but I didn't know why I needed to know. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, dude. Did not want to kill you. But that's what I did. Wow, that worked. Oh my god! <sighs> there goes Flawless. That made me really mad. God, that made me really mad. All because of that. All because of my stupid mouth. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Ow. You live and you learn. I get way more mad at Crucible than I do at PvE, trust me. Do this all over again. It is spider, hamburger, and pizza. I'm gonna use my heavy a lot more because I didn't use it much last time. And I want to get this done now. I was just speaking my mind and having fun last time, but now you can like gun. So, where was I? Oh, there's hamburger. Oh, but spider's right here, so I'm gonna do that first. Anyhow... I think... Last Wish has everything that a good raid should have. Which is insane difficulty. Um, or not insane difficulty, but, you know, a good amount of difficulty. A final boss that feels like, you know, a final boss, like a, cres a crescendo of the raid. One, one that doesn't feel like, oh, this boss is easier than the last one. You know, because I did, even though I love King's Fall. I love, love, love King's Fall. I think Gogoroth was the best encounter in there. I don't know why I came in here. I think Gogoroth was the best encounter in there, and I think the um, the whole Oryx fight wasn't as exciting, I guess. At the time, it's like, 
Well, I mean, God, I'm so I'm just playing this so weird. It's so much different than other boss fights in the game, which I love. I do love that. I don't like how a lot of the damage that you deal to him isn't is like just from standing in lights, I guess. I don't know. They messed up. Cause that the cause like people figured out that you could like easily just do four phases of blights and save the blights for the last phase. And that was easier than doing the actual boss itself. And honestly, I think Gogoroth or even maybe War Priest is harder. But I think Gogor Gogoroth was harder to do than Orcs, at least in my opinion. And so when it came to the um, when it came to Last Wish, and when Last Wish came out, I f just fell in love with the fact that the last encounter was was so I don't know I don't want to say finicky because that sounds like it's saying something bad because I just want to say good things about the last research right now oh wow look at you you came right in you were you you really want to kill me right now don't you it's not finicky it's just it's demanding it's very demanding I'll put it that way it demands communication. It demands that you are... Oh my goodness. It demands that you are paying attention to the page. Instead of just like, zoning out. Sorry, I just want to kill this guy before I die. It demands that you pay attention. Um, and it did it, 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 if you do Riven legitimately, it feels harder than um, the last three bosses that you fight. That being said, whenever I go into a raid where I'm teaching people, I always say that. I never really say that Riven is my favorite encounter because I've... Oh my goodness. I've never done Riven as much as I've done the last wish raid because whenever I'm teaching, I'm usually cheating Riven because no one... No one ever wants to do it. Legit. Everyone just wants to cheese it. And so when it comes to it, the encounter that I've done every single time that we don't... Like there's just no way for us to cheese that I just love is the Vault Encounter. I love um, the raid encounters that are... Oh my god. I love the raid encounters that are able to cres crescendo or that like rewards being not perfect but making it feel like you did it perfectly. You know, I like the raid encounters that made you think. So, that's why I always ask people if they want to know what the raid encounter is all about. Because most of the people that I obviously don't know what the raid is. and But they've all, like, at least heard of the raid. And some of them heard of the vault. And they've heard, like, the vault has this crazy um, mechanic that no one knows about. Or, no one knows about. That no one in their right mind that wants to just get the raid done would try to learn. So, but I always ask, I always ask if they want to know. And most of the time they don't want to know, they just want me to keep it in my head. And I love doing that anyway. I love being the one to keep it in my head. I love being able to say, to read those symbols and be able to keep that information throughout so that you can, you know, just get it done. I think the closest encounter that came to it, sorry I'm stopping here, but like I really love talking about a lot of this. I think the closest encounter that came close to the way that made me feel the way the, the vault feels. I think... Um, 
maybe Gauntlet. Gauntlet, I think, from the Leviathan, which I actually don't even much like the Leviathan too much anymore. Because of just, just because of how much I've played it now. It's Gauntlet, because I like the, um... Like, don't get me wrong, I love the bosses. But I do like mechanic heavy um, rooms, and I like that there can be one right before the boss, you know? I like that there can be a mechanic heavy room where. You have to do so and so three times, and it may get harder each time, or if you can do it perfectly three times, you're good. I love that idea. I don't know why, I just. It re Where's the ogre? I guess I'm gonna have to wait for him to spawn when I get down there. It resonated with me. Not personally. But I don't know. So whenever I did do the, um. So when I did end up doing the bottom counter. Jeez, man, that wizard's hitting hard. I need to talk about that in a second. Not just the wizards, but just like the enemies in general, because I think there was a... I feel like there was a, there was an undercover buff that happened. Hold on. Anyway. I think there was a... Uh, I think there was an under-the-hood buff. Two enemies, whether it be like their um, ability to hit targets or how aggressive they are, or how much damage they do, they just feel like they hit harder or they are more aggressive. Especially in the dungeon. That's a whole nother conversation when I get a prophecy. Trust me, I'll be mentioning that when it comes to prophecy. Back to the vaults. I think it was a great encounter. Um, something like... I want to say defending the complex is in Bar that, but that's so overdone now. Let me... Let me put it this way. It, it shook up... It took what I liked most, which was... Um, let me go ahead and, sorry, someone in my clan just texted me, and I want to go ahead and make sure my fire team is closed. So no one, like, just joins me out of nowhere. But, while Gauntlet scratched that itch that I just told you about for encounters that I like that do things like that, It was still something that was kind of similar to what we've been doing, which is like, God, do my voice, which is like, um, standing on, standing on this plate and doing this, whereas the only reason you need to stand on a plate at all during, uh, the vault encounter is to read the symbols, and you need to retain those symbols without having to stay on those plates anymore. Uh, there's the whole stand on a plate thing, I think, is overdone. That's another reason why I like. Um. What's called? It's like, that's another reason why I like Shattered Throne and Garden of Salvation so much. Because. Even though there is the, in, in Garden at least, there's the whole overdone Vex thing where you defend a complex from then sacrificing. There's no plates. There's no plates and I appreciate that so much. 
I remember one of the de developers tweeted out about the um, this dungeon, the, the Pit of Heresy. They, they tweeted out saying that they tried in this expansion to stir, steer, steer away from uh, the plate mechanic, which I think they are. Having, oh my god, dude! That a big yawn. I think they already steered away from it. Oh my god, I'm not on Night Stalker. Doctor. I'm not on Night Stalker. Holy crap. Let me change that right now before I forget. I know I'm getting shot. Oh, I'm about to get shot at. Oh, yeah, there you go. I think you can hear my brother stalling around the background. I don't know why you exploded. I had nothing that garnered your explosion, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, swing in this. Time for back up my grenades. That's what I'm tired of. Okay, maybe I should like not try to punch these guys today. I thought I had that. Oh. I will punch you to death because you're by yourself. It just so happens to blind you. Yeah, great. Are you guys gonna come over here? I'm going, dude. I'll tell you what. I don't want to be caught with that guy on my tail, though it seems like I might in a second. No, we heard that. No, my man, the ogre heard that. Hmm, yep. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! That was crazy! Sorry, I'm texting my amazing girlfriend. <laughs> there you go. I know some people don't like it. Don't like to talk about that stuff. But I really love my girlfriend. And I'm okay to say that loud. I don't brag about it. If you can't brag about your girlfriend, then you're not doing her justice. Or, or, bro. Don't worry, I am not done with this. We're gonna watch baby's enemies out with like. I just wanna do it in a way that's not gonna get any kills, yeah? You are. Okay. Of course. I don't want to die here. Oof! My, that one. That one can be scary sometimes. Entering this room, I think it's scary. Just because of how many they front load to the engines. Where's the knight at, huh? There he is. He's making his way over here. I think. Or he's just staying there. You crap. Yeah, making the nade. Making it!
I did this so much easier than I did the did it last time as well. Alright. <clears throat> I only have to change Hmm, you wanna stay away, buddy? I only have to change one part of my loadout. I only have to change one part of my loadout for this part. And that is this bow. I absolutely love this bow so much. This bow is my coup de gras. And it's only because it has explosive. Yeah, explosive head and dragonfly. Oh, I will never find another bow like this. Or if I do, I'll, I'll say no to it. Say go! <laughs> Trinity Ghoul enters the chat. Alright. Let's do it. I don't even know if I was ready. I don't even know if I was ready for this. Okay. Yeah, it's for those. It's been Franklin when he's flying that kite. You see it, right? I'm gonna get you guys out of the way. Maybe I should put a mine. Should have put a minor spec on this. It doesn't seem like I'm getting the headshot damage anyway. So I'm not getting the um, dragonfly spec advantages, or much, not much of them anyway. God, I need to go over there and kill him in a second. Ah, oh, yeah, I definitely should have put a minor spec on this. I'm gonna kill these two, and I'm going over there. Stand still for me, buddy. Alright. Woo! This plate mechanic right here. Don't like it. Don't like it. I know it's not a typical one, but. Jeez. No like plate mechanics. Me no like plate mechanics, man. You've never seen me lacking a plate mechanic. I understand you guys are on the butt. Okay, come on now. Ugh. I just want you dead, man. I should have punched you a while ago. I hear you guys. Holy, oh, you guys just came over here, didn't you? No regrets from you guys, huh? huh. Kind of liked it that time, though. Dragonfly that is. Okay, going after you now. Going after you, dude. God, you had a friend. Didn't it know? Did not know you had a friend. Wow. Where's shield? Dude, look at him go. He's shielding everything. Oh, I need to get over there. I totally forgot about the Annihilation Dota. Oh, you joking me? Uh, that gives me a chance to put my respect on, I guess, but... <laughs> that Annihilator Totem. No joke. If that's the case, I might need to start dealing damage to that, uh... I need to start dealing damage that night a little early. Means I might need to use something like a broker. I'm gonna try a revoker. I'm going to try out a revoker and hope my bow is enough. My bow and my nades are enough to take out the enemies. I 
sure how it is. That certainly was not a shot, but I'll take it. Still doesn't one shot you guys, unfortunately. Feels like the minor spec doesn't even do much. I know it's doing something. Even if it isn't much. Chill with the nade, bro. Alright, I'm heading over there. No, I'm not. Actually, I forgot. I need to be... <sighs> I'm on, dude. I need to focus on actually... Actively getting his health down instead of just trying to go for a big burst. Because that will be my death. I keep trying for that. Dude, these nades! He's throwing them from down. Friggin' town. Chill out for me. You're special. You two! Hiding over there. Okay. It's down. I hear ya, I hear ya, I hear ya. I just got a text, I wanna check it. But I cannot. I'm not the government lead. And yes, where you ask, I'm going to do this the hard way. Which is getting every single orb. As opposed to the quote unquote easy w way that I know I can probably do, but I'm not going to do. Hmm. You guys, you're throwing nades over the wall, I don't like it. Over the garden wall, dude. Over the dang garden wall. You guys got shit. Oh my goodness, look at you, look at the balls on you! Okay, I need to stand on this. Totally forgot about that. No, I didn't know what you were talking about, I did not forget about that. At all. Okay. I can start laying into you now. Alright, let's clear this last wave and then I'm going after you. Screw you, dude. Ow! Out of ammo! Oh my god! Give me ammo. Special. Fine. I'm gonna go on an ammo run. I'll be right back. Back! What a miss. I almost like wanted to do my heavy, but it's not worth it. I'll be hitting nearly the same amount of, uh, same rate of fire for in wasting heavy. Just kill smaller enemies like him. <sighs> it's this encounter that makes me kicked off. It's only this one. I just want this. I want it. I need it quickly. I need to get back to this. I need to touch this. Before I hit nine. Okay. We're good. We are kind of good. Come out, knight. I can say night, night. I was not up the moon. Oh, look at you guys. Dang, what can you do with the nade combo? Jeez. I hear you. Jeez, I don't want to. 
this with you guys. You guys are the, the epitome of me. Could you do it? You do it like that. You do it when I'm not looking, man. No, screw you guys. Some of you guys like this. All of a sudden, one of you like. I don't believe the ball here. It's confusing, dude. Like, take a dang side. This is why I waste my time, dude, because it seems like it doesn't like killing enough of these guys. More spawn. Ah, oh, I have something in my eye. Okay. Should be good. I can just slam this. Alright, we are officially halfway through. I don't know why I did that. Don't ask me. Not information not needed. Unneeded info. Saving my tether for when I get in trouble, trouble, what I'm not in right now. I'm staying surprisingly calm for this encounter. This is the only encounter I've been worried about. Leading up to this on video. And I'm not doing as good as I thought I'd be doing, especially since I keep running out of bow ammo, of all things. But I'm doing good. Doing fine for how I want this encounter to go. Like, oh my god, they're like teleporting around. Chill out. Okay. A little behind schedule. And for those wondering, I keep schedule by looking at my curse of suffering. Right now I have four. I'm gonna have five soon. And usually when I have five, I should start. I should start. I shouldn't be like finishing up clearing ads. I should be like beginning to damage the next night. At least with my schedule. That I like to use. That was perfect. Now you guys are here. Okay, I really wanted to throw my smoke right then, but I suppose that works too. Okay. I need two more. Just need two more. I'll kill you two. Or three. And turn my attention to the sky. Probably where I'm going to use my tether right here. No, I think I can, I think I can do it without my tether. I need to not be afraid to use it, but I'm not in a dangerous enough situation, really. Oh, I can't even remember what killed me last time. Well, I'm getting dangerous now, aren't I? I want to see if it was an acolyte nade, I don't remember. <laughs> you guys know. Chill out with nade spams, bro. Bros. Okay. Maybe tether isn't a bad idea right now. Look at that. This all came like all of a sudden. I don't know where you guys came from. I don't know where you came. Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go, bro? Okay. Again, behind schedule. An act I need not to hit me right now. I know you guys are rearing up for it over there. You guys are just spawning again over here. I can just get you guys down. I can start damage on you confidently. At least kind of confidently. Except when you guys begin to be so good at the game. Which I don't like. It's not being good. Oh, come on, show your ugly mug. Ugh, you guys. Oh, screw you, dude. I'm doing the thing I said I wouldn't do. I'm going for a quick kill. This is where I need my tether, dude. Because now I have a ton of these enemies. I guess I can put this down 
start shooting some of them. Get ahead of it a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's gonna help out a lot in the long run. I didn't know if I get that last one. I know there's still thrall out there. Okay, I did not kill the cursed ones. Yep, I knew it. I knew for a fact I did not kill the cursed ones. Mm -mm. I'm not about to die to them. Yeah. Nothing about you guys. Made the wrong piece of crap. Yeah, after a few kills I always turn myself to the right side. Because I think there's an acolyte peeking over there, because usually there will be one. I'm on schedule now. I'm doing fine now. I'll kill you two. And I'm going after him. I have another curse throw there that I didn't even think about. I just grab this. Touch the plate one more time for safety. And I should be home free. Whew! That's the only part I was worried about. Now I can just survive him. The boss. Arc logic. It has been an hour. Make a much better time than when I first tried this. Then much better. change my loadout so it's this part that's gonna this part's gonna make me wonder because I don't know what I want to use I think I'll still use nice soccer I think I will because I just I need that type of, um, this is me readying for the boss fight, by the way. This, this encounter doesn't really need any specific loadout, but I'll go over that at the end again. But, we have houseplant, pizza, and solo cup. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to use Night Stalker for this next part, for the boss, I mean. Um... The only problem I had with the boss when I did it last time was I did it and I wanted to end it as quickly as possible. I wanted to get it over with. I went the wrong way. I wanted to get it over with and I shouldn't have played like that because I ended up playing with Celestial Nighthawk and Xenophage. I'm still going to use Xenophage because Xenophage helped me out a lot. But I ended up playing with Celestial, Celestial Nighthawk, which nearly guaranteed me a two or three phase. Really just three phase. It guaranteed me a three phase with the boss. And I don't know, that was precious for some reason to me. And so just taking my time. And I ended up using... Um, I ended up using Blade Barrage, just because it was still a burst of damage that I could use to the boss. Use I, could, I could deal with the boss, and with the burn damage, I could um, get my dodge back quicker, which would heal me in during that boss fight, and would give me the overshield, because back then, oh my god. When I soloed it back then, I think it was the first season when it had this. It might have been last season. Anyway, they had a, um, they had a mod for solo subclasses, where... 
if you let me just use this. Oh, he's dead. They had a mod for solo subclasses. If you used your class ability, then you would get an oversale for the duration of the animation. And that proved really helpful. So when it came down to choosing subclasses, Night Stalker was always an option, but I shouldn't go this way. I know there's one over there, but I'll get this one done, I guess. Night Stalker was always an option. I just wanted that extra overshield. And now in this season, they don't have an overshield perk. Oh my god, that was a mistake! And I just paid for it. I was talking my butt off. Okay, well, TP, solo cup, houseplant. I'll go left this time. I'll go left. What was I saying? Right. Um, there is no seasonal mod for overshields in this season, so when it came to choosing a subclass, I think Night Stalker was fine. It's just that I love the combo of Overshield plus Night Stalker. Hmm. I don't much like this one. I like the combo of Overshield plus um, Worm Husk and how much leeway it gave me. And with that burn damage, I was getting the dodge back so much faster anyway. Uh, dude. Bye bye. <laughs> but with this, with using Night Stalker, I'll be able to buff my damage. <laughs> Let's try this jumping on place again. With this, oh my god, I'll be able to buff my damage and go invisible when I want, so. I think that's a good trade-off. What I was running last time. Oh, are you guys through here? Ah! Ugh, I think there's one in there. I'm gonna have to go to it eventually, so why not now? Yep, yeah, there is. You think I can make that jump? Oh my god. Okay. Jeez, man, look how many friends you got. A very friendly wizard. Oh, I wanted you to fall like the other one. Okay. Let me kill you guys. Okay, thank god you're despawning. Now, was there another one? Are you joking, dude? I'm dying! I'm dying more on this part than all the other parts. Why this part, man? Ugh. What the crap is that? Oh, it's like paperclip. I call that paperclip. Click. I call that paperclip or a spider. So we got paperclip, TP, house plant. I want to say paperclips over here. Um. Yeah, one of them is. God, dude. 
Another reason why I won't show the solo process for this, because it's just gonna be. I don't know. I think it'd be boring. If you guys want it, then you can say it, but. Sound off. Beep beep. I want you to fall, bro. Oh, Teepee's over here. That's what that is. Teepee. Let's keep on heading. Man on the run. Man on the run. Um, these actually seem pretty simple. Yep, can do it. There's one over here. Ah, nice. The other one should be down this way. That's the only problem I'm gonna have. Yep, the same place we saw him last time. So if I can just survive these stupid jumps, we could be good. <laughs> right? <laughs> you lit up the way for me, dude. Ugh, thank you, Mr. Landon. Oh. I need to not hit this on the way back. <sighs> I almost went too too quickly that time again. Hey. Uh, I'm looking for your uh, the one you work for. There she is. The woman of the hour. And there she goes. We did it. Now I just need to get out of there. I'm glad it keeps the check. I won't go too fast on you, buddy. Nice. Alright. We just got one guy. You were getting up to an hour and a half. And I've been talking pretty well. So, while we're on the way, and while we're doing the boss fight, I, I guess we can talk about the YouTube channel. So, the channel. There are a few uh, playthroughs that I'm just not going to do. I do want to continue some. There's, there's, there's a few that I'm not going to do. Whether it be to performance or because it just doesn't interest me right now. One. Number one. Dragon Age. I don't know if it's just because of how dated it is or just how slow moving it can be or the combat is. I don't like it. So I don't love it. I really like the story behind it. And if there was more interaction in the combat, because that's just how I like combat, then maybe. Um, so, Dragon Age is never coming back, I don't think. Maybe in the future. Modern Warfare. The veteran campaign. It did terrible on views, so I'm not doing it. Um... I've already done the first so many missions on it, so I know that I can do it better, and, and it's not that bad, so I'm not gonna, it's not much that I want to prove anyway, and I'm not really into Modern Warfare right now, that one anyway, because it's given me some, it's given me a bad taste, because of how not consumer friendly it is when it comes to the installs, and I'm not even gonna get into that, um, I'm not gonna be doing, I won't be doing too many Overwatch videos, um, we too soon because Overwatch doesn't have much new right now. Um, or nothing new that interests me. Um, I know the Halo Combat Evolved campaign. I won't be continuing. I'm just not continuing that. Um, and that has to deal with some personal stuff. Not with the guy I was playing with. The guy I was playing with is fine. It's just that, um, any intersected people with that. There's nothing bad. I totally respect all the people, that, all the stuff that happened, and the people that were involved. But um, I 
Nier Automata. I actually really like that game. I really like it, Nier Automata, and I really um, like the combat style because it can be Dragon Age esque, whereas it's turn based combat and you can just let it fight by yourself. But you can also engage by yourself as well, so I like that. I'm going to continue that. And if not a raid video, the next video on my channel will probably be a near on a lot of video. Um, and I'm also doing the Halo 4 campaign with Rose. And that's just because we like Halo and we're excited for Infinite. I know the July event is the 23rd and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. I'm going to be watching it live. I might even, uh, what's it called? I might even stream, stream it and watch the recording with you guys and just see who comes around and watches it with me. Really? Oh, dude, I'm excited. Love me some Halo. Look at this dude. He came in. Okay. So let me think. I wanna make sure that's everything. I had Neo Armada, I got Halo 4. Um when Halo Infinite does come out, I I will be playing it. I'll probably if Rose gets it at the same time as me, I'll be playing it with him. Cause we love the story of Halo. Not as much as I love the story of Destiny, but we love the story of Halo. Um see if we're talking about future content I think that's what I just somehow segued into if we're talking about future content then I think it's good to say that I will be getting a series X I've already be oh my goodness I've started saving up because I can't wait to get it the um Wow, they got an immune. The game I'm most excited for with it right now is uh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077. That's going to be a full playthrough. That's going to be a full playthrough. That's going to be the one of the long ones, man. That's going to be one of the long ones. Um, uh, right now, by the way, I'm just waiting for the super to get done. Because I don't want to have to go kill more sword knights. And risk killing myself for the freaking printed launcher. But... I cannot wait for Cyberpunk. I definitely will be playing my own playthrough with that. And I'm gonna try to get that that out as soon as possible. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna have to wait for the super on my sword. Um there really is no quote unquote use for me to keep doing this. Like I could just go kill the sword one, but it's just part of my um I'm looking at my clan jet. I'm sorry I keep going off, but it gets me into this rhythm because the rhythm is going to be wherever I get to this wizard one. I'm just going to keep doing that. Um, because when I get back from my damage phase, I want to have my super ready for the next damage phase. And this just gives me time enough to wait for it. And also using the super doesn't use any ammo off the sword, so it's it's a win-win. Very, very useful. Very, very useful. I'm trying to think of any other future games. I know there was a game that Taylor showed me, and Taylor helped me out with the Dragon Age series. He's also in um, some of the raid ones. And some of the Lawless Frontier vs. Uh, raid videos. Um, she showed me and Katie, um, one of the, 
like a new battle royale. Ah! I get so scared right now. I had so yeah, I get so scared right now. She showed me in Katie a new battle royale. I don't even remember what it's called, but it focuses on verticality and by Ubisoft. I heard a ton of news like the day before, like the trailer came out from a leak or something. But either way, it still looks it still looks really nice. I could have gotten myself killed right in the middle, dude. But I see I have more heavy sitting over there. Oh. There's just one light waiting, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, I slam this. And get out of the way, dude! That's what you're gonna have to do for now, I guess. Jeez. Not great damage. Not great at all. <sighs> but I'm here and I survived. Jeez, man, I don't like when they teleport around like that. I do not. Let it be known. Okay. Run away. <gasps> Let's get to. I'll kill you first, why not? See what I mean by one hush man? Helps out so well. I also want to bring in my uh, argument to bring back Twilight Garrison for the Titan. Because while I'm using a hunter, because I do think it's the best for this uh, dungeon. I do want to state that I am a Titan main. I miss the Twilight Garrison for most two reasons. So let me let me put out some reasons. One, it was it was it, it, it was unhonorably given to the Warlock. Its ability was it's basically a midair dodge, and I do not like that. I don't like the fact that it was given to Warlocks. Um, the, ah, Hunters, not Hunters, but the Titans and the Hunters, they both have exotics that can exude the class ability of a Warlock, aka heal them when using said class ability. So let's think about it for a second. Hunters have something called the Bombardiers, where they drop a bomb that deals damage using that class ability. Which I will equate to the Titan Barricade, since it, you can deal damage with the Barricade. But, you know, I understand if that can't be replicated. So, I believe bringing the Twilight Garrison back would give the Hunter Dodge ability that is needed for the rest of the game. You know? Let me go ahead and reload this. If I can be ready on the punch. I'll keep 
this out, actually. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of enemies waiting down here. I don't have some acolytes to kill over here. I don't want them messing with my vibe when it comes to killing that boss. Well, not killing it, but dealing damage. I want them to harsh my mellow. Holy crap. So bad, get him to explode. Drop it. Jeez, man. Back up, dude. If I can just do this, slam it, and then jump, we should be good. Nothing about it. Okay. I'm doing fine. Oof. Okay, that was fine. That was good. That was better damage. Much, much better. I'm gonna hate killing this guy because it's gonna spawn two more, but. I don't wanna take any chances right now. Give me a sword! I swear, man, there's a ghost in my house. I'm not doing the best on the sword ammo right now. You, man. Just give me free swipe stuff. I'm generous. Ugh, if I can do this, I can just do this right. Maybe I can only do two more phases. If I can just think it, if I can just think it enough, if I can think this right enough. I will only have to do two more phases. I'll save you guys just to kill you by myself. I might just go around the place and just kill whatever enemies are near as well, just because. Oh my god. If he did that while I was midair, like on the edge, I would have. Ooh, I would have been mad. First thing there, I thought I didn't. God, I cut my commentary on. That would have been a mess. Maybe I should slow down. Let me reload everything. Ugh, oh, I don't have much heavy. I got so lucky. Oh no, it disappeared. Great. Looks like I'm gonna be getting a second sword anyway. Glad I didn't miss that. Dang it, dude. I don't have to get more you guys. Get out of the way. You're super annoying. You're trying to get the first. You can kill you off with leg now. I thought I was about to go off the edge for a second. Now. Yes, more heavy. Love to see that. That's freaking amazing. 
Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, my phone again. You caught me. Oh god. We got this. We got, you know, we got this. We got this. I do want to talk about my recording setup in a second. Okay. I do want to talk about a little bit about my recording setup. So, I'm using an Elgato. I've already talked about how my 1080p thing is going nuts over right now, but I know mic wise, I'm still trying to figure some stuff out. This is a much better mic than the mic I had earlier. Um, oh, I'm just so grateful that I got this mic. The other one was so cheap and tacky and it did terrible. And Windows didn't even pick it up. At least not well. Alright. Do what we gotta do. Got a few of them in that class, I know I did. Dude! Oh my god! He actually kinda saved my life. I can get that heavy over there and dodge with it and get some more damage on you. And jump. I think they're near me. And get up. Good. I think that was a nice damage phase. I really did. Back to what I was saying. The mic. Oh my god. The mic is so much better. But I'm still trying to gauge it right now. Because with the... I was so used to being so close to my past mic that I can sit back here and it'll still pick up my voice really great. So I need to start doing that. I need to be able to... Not sit so close to my mic. But I did it just out of habit. For the Leviathan video. And you can... It's... When I was editing the Leviathan, the Leviathan video, I don't know how anyone could. I thought to myself, I don't know how anyone could watch it because I sounded straight up just annoying with how loud. It's not like I was even loud, it's just that my mic couldn't pick up anything louder. Um, because overall volume was pretty moderate, but the, I don't know why I had this in my hands. But the um, the actual. Mike was picking it up too loud, or picking up a too too much too loud of a uh, sound. And so, uh, it would just end up being so cut off and really dry. And well, you know how it sounds when something's a little too loud. You know how it sounds when something is just way too loud. You know it. Like, it's that, like, really loud, um, radio kind of sound, you know? And I, I hate it. I think I fixed it now. I think I'll still have the pro same problem in this video. It won't, I won't know until I edit it, but I think I'll still have the same problem in this video, but I don't think it'll be as bad. I'm not sitting up to the mic next to the mic, and it's still, from what it's saying on my computer, it's saying that I'm, it's picking me up really well. But I guess we'll see. Um, I wish I had a better editing software, but, well, actually, no. I love the editing software that I use. Oh, that's not that here. I love the editing software that I use. It's just really laggy. My computer, it demands a lot for doing not much. But it's so, sim not simple, but it's easy to use. It's not easy to, like, play back, let's put it that way. Because just something as much as like really quick cuts, it's just hard for it to like, handle. Right on target. Oh, I don't have any heavy line around, do I? 
I'm going look I'm going heavy hunting dude. Before I pick up that orb at all. I'm going heavy hunting. I might even like kill some of you guys looking for it. Cause I need heavy. I think I'm still gonna have to do two more phases though. Uh I might just do this phase. With um special. I might just do this phase with special. And that one drop of heavy seems to be around here. <sighs> oh, maybe how generous you were to just leave me to spot. You about weren't ready to be generous for a second already. Which means I probably need to stop shooting with my grenade launcher for right now. Gimme! No heavy anywhere. Special, special everywhere! And yet not one tap of So glad I had my recluse out and not my mountain top. So when I dropped that orb, I already. I started, like, when I, and I pulled the trigger, I was like, what if I had a mountain top out? I would have been screwed. Oh my god, the heavy! It's here. Ask and ye shall receive. Complain enough and ye shall receive. You love to see it. Not a lot of heavy. I still think it'll take me another phase. Oh, you're over here. I'm gonna need to do. I'm gonna need you to get over here instead. Not at least far away from that. Come on, dude. Ow. There, you hit me directly. Are you, are you good now? I don't know. Come a little closer. What if I, like, get a little closer to you? Huh? Nothing. Okay, you seem to be wanting to play Ring Around Rosie with Crystal here. If I ring around this Rosie, will you be fine? I didn't want to use my dodge, but I think I had to. That's terrifying. They were way sword bearers. Oh my god, it like exploded instantly and I don't like that. Oh, he was right beside me. I didn't even notice, dude. Terrible damage base. I mean, but I can get some heavy. Oh, if I can get some heavy this next, um... <sighs> if I can get some heavy this next round, I think I'll... I'll be fine in the long run. Where's the sword bearer at? Where'd you scurry off to? Are you literally behind the crystal? Are you hiding? Where are you? Where art thou? Excuse me? Where's the sword bearer? Uh, there you are. I've done this before. You guys wasn't looking. Who knows? I don't want to risk it and like shoot even the side of the wall to try to get him to die. I can just get even like one magazine heavy. I'll be fine from the next damage phase. Come on. Come on, dude. hours. Maybe it took me two and a half hours to sew this last time. Again, don't know why I picked that up. Just gotta move, gotta move. We gotta do that bang bang bang. I think that's so cool. I love the range on the uh, 
projectile attack on the sword. Good god. It's got like the range of a rocket launcher, but much more spread out damage, I guess you could say. The range fall off is very very um low. The damage does not fall off very much at all. And now I play a bit of the waiting game. I text back my amazing girlfriend. He said she's proud of me for trying for being better at talking to <laughs> talking to the camera. That's another thing. Oh, I don't even know why I didn't mention that. Well, while I was talking, I managed to waste an entire sword. But I don't know why I didn't mention that. Um, I want to get a webcam. I'm going to get one, and I don't know when, but I know I'm saving up for a ton of stuff right now, and it's heavy. I'm saving up for a ton of stuff right now, and one of those is going to be a webcam, so I can do face cams for the videos. The Void Spear. Look how generous the boss was. Just be over there. Ow. Look how ungenerous you guys are being. He's hitting me now, though. Do you see how many shots I didn't hit on that acolyte? Me too. Ow. I have my super, I have this reloader, I have this reloaded. I think... I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine for damage rays. Really want to get out of that before I did anything terrible to him. Oh my god, you're jerking me with the draw. Get out of here. Totally taking advantage of that, and I didn't. Come on, read. Nice! Uh, and I got the improved armor focusing. I've been wanting that. Did the to completed? Where's the triumph at? Thank you! God! Ugh! That's it? That's the heresy. Oh, God. You know another thing I've been liking on YouTube? I love the, um,. The new timestamp thing, where you can separate it. The um, you can separate parts of the video into the timestamp. I've been doing that with a ton of videos. Cause I just love it. Oh. Okay, that was good. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about how I did it. I think a lot of it was self-explanatory. The first encounter isn't that bad at all. It's really not that bad. It's just not dying to stupid stuff. Stupid stuff includes ogres. That's really all you have to worry about. Ogres and fall damage. I think that's all you have to worry about. Ogres, fall damage, and the rooms. Sorry. Um, the only thing with the rooms is that um, you should probably kill the enemies before you go after their bosses with the swords. I know it's possible, and I've done it before, to kill the boss and with the sword while the other enemies are in there just by dodging them. But if you're soloing it, especially if you're solo flossing it, just play it safe. Um, an ogre spawns on every single bridge. Every single one of them. I don't know if it's really every single one of them. I think, but I know it's every single one that is next to a building that you have to get to. An hour and 30 minutes, huh? Every single um, tower that you need to get to to kill a boss in there, there will be an ogre on each um, bridge that is connecting to it. Most of the time, there's only one bridge connecting to it, but you probably will get a rune with two bridges, and in that case, God, be careful, <laughs> because that means there's going to be ogres on both sides that you should probably take out first. Um, the knights hit harder than you think. The knights hit so much harder than you think, um, especially with their... Um, the boomers you already know hit hard, but especially with their... Sh um, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a shotgun, but it sends out five pulses. 
and the pulses themselves aren't that bad. If you get hit with two of them, you feel you will feel the damage of it. But if you're up close, be prepared. Like if you're gonna go up close to a knight with one of those shotguns, then you should probably have a shotgun on yourself or something that will deal enough damage to kill him in the next couple of seconds. Because one blast where all five of those projectiles are hitting you will hurt eight. Uh, the second encounter with the ogres is not that bad. Not bad at all. You hardly ever get overwhelmed with the enemies, really. It's really easy to, to manage them because they don't. there's no respawning. And there's, the only respawning that there is is of the thrall. Um, and it's super easy on a hunter. Oh, God. It's super easy to do the second encounter on a hunter just because you can go invisible to avoid the ogres. Otherwise, the ogres do run kind of a pattern where you can go back and forth down... Well, they go back and forth down the cave. Um... The third encounter, I think, is the hardest. I really do, because it's just so hectic. And that's... I compare, I, can, I kept comparing it to Prophecy, because I think that's... Encounter is literally what all of Prophecy is. Not, like, the mechanics-wise, or close to those mechanics-wise, but... Oh, my God. I had to take a sip of water. But... In the way of ads don't stop spawning. There will never be a reprieve in the prophecy dungeon unless um, you're in that final boss room where it literally just lets you sit there and just take a breath after finishing one room and getting ready for damage. Like it literally just sits there after all the enemies are dead and you can just sit there. Um, not after all the enemies, after the, after the boss damage, sorry, that's my bad. After the boss gets damaged, and you're ready to go back into the room, there's no timer for you to go back into the room and get back to killing enemies. You can sit there and take a breath and say, okay, that's one phase done. Let's collect ourselves. Let's like gather the ammo that's in the room, get our supers. You can do it. Again, that's just for another, that's for another video. Delete. Oh, look at all those amazing upgrade modules. But for the actual room itself, acolyte management is so important. That's why I used this bow. Um, most bows will work. I used explosive head just to make sure I was going to be killing them. And one shot to the head. Something like Trinity Ghoul. Ooh, excuse me. Trinity Ghoul or Lemonarch could be better. I think Lemonarch even one shots the acolytes to the body. I know Wishender does, but I don't like using primary bows. And Wishender doesn't have... And Wishender is an exotic legendary, basically. And... Just the ability to one-shot those acolytes comes in handy, dude. Because they just keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. Because by the time you clear out all that's left on the left side, everything that's in the middle, and all that are in the, um, the back middle, and you get to the right side, by the time you get done with the right side and you turn back, they're beginning to spawn on the left again. So what you need to do is kill those that are spawning on the left and then start damaging that knight. Because it's not long for it. Um, everyone that was in the middle, back middle, and right are going to be coming after you again. That's why I kept it on a timer where if I can just focus on killing, 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 and I was able to get my Curse of Suffering to times four or times five by the time I was ready to start damaging that knight, I would be good. I'd be, I would be freaking salt. I'd be fine. I'd be able to um, get that orb, um, damage the knight quick enough, get that orb, bring it back just as they're spawning, and that way they don't um, spawn in the middle of me, like, I don't know, just getting done with the knights or just starting to focus on that um, throw. Because I also had a system with that. So when I slam the orb, the acolytes would be in there, but I would start killing any that was in the middle or any one that I would like see immediately and maybe take a pot shot at the thrall that were spawning in the back because if I could get a headshot with the dragonfly, I'd kill off a good bit of them. But as soon as I get maybe three seconds of getting a few shots on acolytes, I would immediately take out my heavy. And this is where you need like a sniper or something like Xenophage or a machine gun or a rocket 
or a grenade launcher, you need something like that because you need to immediately take it out and look towards those knights because if you think you can survive them, you can't. Um, just because they're they're spawned up there and you slam another orb, that's not going to make it so more don't spawn. More will spawn. That means there's just going to be four knights on you now. And their boomers do hurt, and it's just one more thing that you don't need. Um, I'm sure if you look back on the footage, I get so close to dying. I, I did die um, one time in that encounter, but I got so close to dying a ton of times. Um, because on top of just the constant amount of acolyte grenades, and I don't think that's a coincidence, I do think they turned it up. And if they didn't turn it up, I think they just made that room in their spawn zones um just far enough away where they can shoot you accurately and still throw grenades like crazy and so it's just nuts it's a lot of ad control the other thing the plate obviously is on a timer it doesn't as soon as you step off you have some leeway to get to it. I died by the totem, I'm just remembering now. I died by the totem one time. And it's with a timer. You, you need to make sure you're getting that timer good. Um, am I missing something? The knights don't really pose a threat. Not not the boomer knights. The boomer knights pose a threat. The actual like uh, major knights that will drop the orbs, they don't pose a threat um, as much unless you're like close to them or you're trying to do, go for the burst damage which I tried to do when I first went in but otherwise they don't pose much of a threat if they start shooting you from where they're hiding drop like a sniper shot like I did on them because they'll most likely either roll away into cover because that's just what the knights are going to do or they'll put up a um their little shield and try to heal and back into different cover so they don't they're not a problem at all. After I get done with the knights, the uh, boomer knights, after I get done killing them, I immediately take out um, my mountaintop or my bow. It's usually mountaintop, and I just jump straight up. Because by that time, there are thrall everywhere around you. And you should, if you're, you got a high jump on like I did, which was triple jump, you'd be able to shoot the ground kind of next to them and blow them all away. Um... It's obviously very risky because you don't want to actually hit the thrall. You want to hit the ground of um, next to the thrall. If you hit the thrall, you have a chance of it just being too close and it'll kill yourself. And I ended up doing that in the Necropolis counter, encounter with like a knight or an acolyte, I think. I just hit one and it was way too close. Um, when it comes to The other strategy for that encounter was you would slam one ball. You'd get an orb and you'd slam it and you'd kill all the enemies. And then you'd kill another knight. Or what, what you would really do is you get two knights low. You'd kill one, get its orb, bring it back, touch the plate, go get the other orb from the other knight that's low, bring it back and have both of them there and pick them up, drop them, pick them up, drop them so they don't time out. And then when you control the ads a little bit more, like you take a few seconds to control the ads a little bit more. And then you slam them both um, very close next to each other. And it's able to, for you to slam two orbs, but it'll only spawn the amount of ads that would come with one. That way you're only, instead of dealing with uh, five waves of ads, you're like only dealing with like what? three maybe two or three i don't know it's like it's somewhere around that it's it can be helpful i just don't do it <laughs> otherwise the boss fight isn't that bad i'm not even going over the um the maze encounter kind of thing where you go after the wizards that's the only thing that's going to kill you there is parkour and the only thing I can tell you there is just get good at jumping. The boss encounter, Zolmak, I think is a really cool encounter. Or at least his damage phase is really cool. Um, getting to that damage phase is a little bit different than most, which is also cool. But 
his damage phase himself was really cool. Because there's a lot of bosses in Destiny 2 right now that don't attack you when it's time for you to damage them. Unlike, uh, I'm not counting strike bosses because they're always attacking you, which I like. But like raid bosses are, um, yeah, raid bosses. <laughs> raid bosses, like these in-game bosses, they just sit there and they take the damage. Stuff like Riven even, my favorite boss, my favorite encounter. He just sits there with his mouth, she, sorry, she just sits there with her mouth open for you to shoot. I like that. Um, really, most any of it. I mean, Callus just sits there. The only reason he shoots at you at all is for you to get off to another plate. <sighs> some of the like, my favorite, some of the best bosses in Destiny 2 is raids fight back, and that's like, um, I don't know what the name of it is, but the Spire of Stars raid, the only thing I like about Spire of Stars is the fact that he will send missiles after you, and they can kill you if you're not careful. Um, Eater of Worlds, it's a boss, it sends little drones after you, but they're not even that powerful. But I like the, the little cage it can send after you, and you have to, like, dodge it, or else everyone needs to focus their attack on their teammate to get them out of the, um, the little cage they put them in. Otherwise, all the other bosses just sit there and take it. Um, stuff like... It's not Sedia. Suroshi. Suroshi just sits there. Um, she's charging up an attack, but like that's just a white mechanic. Suroshi just sits there. Morgeth just sits there. Like I said, Riven just sits there. The Consecrated Mine sits there. The um, Insurrection Prime sits there. Does nothing. Um, I do like the fact that you have to like stay away from your players. Or your players. You have to stay away from your team to damage them, but... That's not even really an attack in my opinion, but something, even the Garden of Salvation boss, uh, like his fi the final boss, the Sanctified Mind, he just sits there. He floats up in the air. He gives you a floating target just to shoot. Um, him moving up is a kind of a change, I guess. Like, it makes it so that you have to know, stop firing for a second, let him move up, then start firing again. I guess that's cool. But... Um, I'm getting off track. The reason I like Zolmex so much is because he attacks you constantly. There's enemies coming after you, which can get annoying, but it makes it a little more difficult, which I like. And I was able to um, manage it well enough, at least. But the um, actual boss will attack you. He will send waves of fire at you. And I love that attack so much. Not only does he like slam his sword down if you're too close, or he shoots you with his hand, he will send that new... like. Um, swipe with his cleaver that new attack and it will send a line after you and it's so dangerous it will one shot you and if you sit in the fire it will kill you it's nuts and I love it it makes you run, have to walk around that crystal it's not so you have to just sit in one spot fire 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 I like that so much better than um, what Insurrection Prime was because even then all you had to do was just move to a new spot and start firing with that, he actually shoots a wave to where you are standing, or to where one of your teammates is standing. And he puts fire down there, so it's not like, you know, you dodge it and then you can get back in. No, there's fire there. Get to a new spot now if you want to take advantage of the damage phase. It's great, but... Um, he's not that bad. He's not that bad. He's not... He's a little. He's much healthier than um, the boss at the end of the show. Throne. It's just so much harder to get to Dylan Carter. I think it's harder to kill those knights to get to the damage base. But all in all, I like this dungeon a lot. It's easier than the Shadow Throne, definitely in my opinion. The easiest dungeon out there right now. If you can solo any dungeon, I believe you should solo this. The only problem you'll have is with that second encounter, the one with all the enemies that start coming after you. That's the only problem I think you'll have. Zolmac is literally just take your time on the boss. Okay. You can get a rhythm down, kind of like I did. Because I only had one or two near-death moments. In my opinion, I think. Where I got actually scared that I was about to die. Um, otherwise, I had it under control. If you can get a pattern down, if you can get a rhythm with it, you should take your time. I know that that's usually like not what you want to hear, I guess, for an encounter like that. 
or any kind of encounter where you because you don't want it to last too long because you might it increases your risk of you just slipping up but with this encounter i think there's enough leeway for that because if you do slip up if you are like caught like in just like caught with your pants down you can go to the tower that you killed a um killed one of the mini bosses too and that's where they just have a safe spot you know you just sit there it's so easy to just get a rhythm down and the fact that uh the enemy that the enemies that do spawn are just thrall and cursed thrall also help with that my xbox actually went out because i was talking so long so i think i should end it here my video just um went over two hours but um i'm finally i'm really glad i got this done um i'll be editing it as soon as i get off and i'm gonna we're probably gonna be up tomorrow but i like this next time you see me i'll probably be doing near automata or a raid maybe even the prophecy dungeons that look for that although don't expect that to be the next video Thank you for watching again though.